Looks like we survived another work week and we've managed to make it to another Friday night. Yay. <laughs> so we're breaking a lot of different stuff tonight. And some of it just came out today. Some of it uh, came out a bit ago. But we do always run through some information before we start uh, ripping into things. So let me get chat up and running here on my iPad. And then we'll get started going through that. Sometimes my iPad is finicky and doesn't want to cooperate with me. So what you see on the screen there, uh, first up is just a quick note that my feedback is 100% automated on eBay. So anytime you leave positive feedback from me, you're going to instantly get it in return. You don't ever have to wait on me to get caught up on feedback because we would probably all be fossilized by then. It seems like I'm always uh, never enough hours in the day, so to speak. Second thing on that page, and the most important part, is to say thank you to everyone. I appreciate you bidding with me and breaking with me, and uh, many of you hang out and chat with me at night. I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, thank you for joining us. Next up, we are going to take a look at the breaks that are already listed on eBay that are coming up for the next five days. There's a couple of things on here I will draw your attention to. Um, one of them, and as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff here. Most nights we do some one box breaks and or some memorabilia breaks along with a case break or a half case break, something like that. So we've got a lot of that stuff uh, coming up tomorrow, uh, coming up this week, including some Gypsy Queen baseball tomorrow night. Uh, Sunday will be the back half of Leaf Trinity baseball that we're opening tonight, as well as some Don Russ basketball. Monday, we're going to finish up the Heritage Baseball along with some 2011 Prime Signatures football. On Tuesday, we'll break our last case of National Treasures football and our last case of Revolution Basketball. The other thing I wanted to point out to you on Tuesday right here, this spot right there, that is the Leaf Draft football that comes in the blasters. There's going to be 40 hits in that case, um, and the spots are listed by the first letter of the last name. So, for instance, Baker Mayfield would go to last name M, and so on and so forth. Leaf does these blasters kind of oddly in the sense that they package the hits separately. So that's all we're going to open during the live break are the hits. Then the unopened packs, which will be base cards, um, but the unopened packs, I'll just divvy up and send some out to every bidder. So that's how that's going to work. We're not going to waste time opening a bunch of those base card packs. We're just going to open our hits. And then uh, the other thing, of course, on Wednesday of next week, Flawless Football comes out. That's the highest of the high end. We will be breaking a half case of that, which is one box on Wednesday night along with Optic Basketball, which also comes out on Wednesday. So that is a look at what is coming up in the days ahead. And that brings us to what we're breaking tonight. This is also the order that we're breaking in this evening. So it'll be the baseball jersey up first, Leaf Trinity Baseball second, National Treasures Football third, and Chronicles Basketball fourth. The other thing to note about this page, uh, the autographed baseball jersey is a free shipping break. Anytime you have an item with completely free shipping, it goes out about five to six days after the auction ends. So I'm anticipating the baseball jersey to go out on Thursday. Paid shipping breaks for tonight. That is Trinity Baseball, National Treasures Football, and Chronicles Basketball. Most likely will ship Monday. It's possible some of that could slide into Tuesday, but I'm anticipating Monday. The final thing to note on this page, if your team is not pulled in a break tonight, and you don't hit anything at all, a card, or in the case of the jersey, you're not the team that hits the jersey, you are still entitled to a consolation trading card that is typically going to be sent out with your next hit. I can send it sooner. All you need to do is jump into eBay messages and let me know, and I'll be happy to do that. There's more information about that in the listing description as well. So that brings us to our first up tonight, which is one 2018 Hit Parade Series 3 autographed baseball jersey. This is also break number three. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, uh, March the 30th, and is also live streaming tonight, March the 30th. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. We'll scroll down through here for a minute, give everybody a chance to 
refresh your memory as to which team you have. And of course that spreadsheet will go up again before each break. So if you're not in this break, you're gonna get a chance to see your spreadsheet right before we break into your product. I know the focus changed right there. The background went out of focus. That is by design. Don't worry, we're still gonna be able to see everything just fine. And now in chat, I see who do we have with us tonight? We have Nathaniel and Wayne Rambo and Nicholas and Arkham Comics. And um, Arkham, what are you asking me? Am I gonna list bought bought, bought teams? Um, do you mean the do you mean the spreadsheet? that we just looked at, um, if that's what you're asking me, yes, one of those uh, spreadsheet will go up before every break. The one that we just saw, of course, is for this uh, baseball jersey. And who is this? This is somebody Gibson. Why is this not autumn? This isn't like ringing a bell with me offhand. So we're gonna have to take a little bit better look at this one. And there's uh, a couple of authentications. There's a JSA authentication sticker, a Dave and Adams authentication card and sticker. Of course, there is your signature, Gibson on the back. For some reason, I am having a moment. I can't think who this is. It's a Dodger, obviously, but I can't think who that player is. So I don't know what the first name is because I'm drawing a total blank on who the player is. Kirk Gibson. Oh God, why did that why did that go right out of my head? <laughs> Thank you, Nicholas. I was like, sometimes, you know, I have those moments, right? Where I just can't, I like can't get something in my head. Yeah, that would be yeah. Kirk. Thanks, Nicholas. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those nights, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not. I'm not gonna have another uh, brain freeze, hopefully. So once again, if you are in this break, please take a moment to look at the information on the screen. Your anticipated shipping date is Monday. That's always plus or minus a day, meaning it could go Saturday. It could go Tuesday. I expect it to go Monday. And this is six boxes of 2017 Leaf Trinity Baseball. It's a half case break. This just came out today. This is break number one. I have not seen any of it yet. I haven't had time to watch anybody else's break. I didn't buy any extra for me to open myself so we are going to be looking at this one for the first time together tonight and then the back half of this case we're going to open on sunday and then i have more of this which we will probably open um about thursday of thursday or friday of next week and i don't know i may do the other one as a full case as opposed to a half case i'll have to think about that but so for tonight here's how this is going to work because this is a obviously a brand new case that we're just cutting into but we're not opening the whole case tonight so i'm going to take every box out i will number these boxes on the end and then we will use random.org to pick out which boxes we open tonight versus which ones will be held back and opened in the next break I always do that when we bust into a new case. If we're not going to break the whole case, this is kind of how we do it to keep everything uh, nice and transparent about how it's determined, you know, which boxes we open at which point in time. So, so I'm going to bring you with me. We're going to slide over here to random.org and basically I'm just, you know, there's no need to do random multiple times for this purpose. So I'm just going to type in our numbers here and we will hit random one time and the first six numbers that come up, those are going to be the six that we open tonight. So it gives us 5, 11, 2, 7, 6, and 8. So 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. All right. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 11. Let me just get these other six put away, and then we will cut the plastic on these. So most of you know I'm pretty excited about Trinity Baseball this year because it looks awesome. I mean, it always looks awesome, right? I mean, the Leaf Trinity product in any sport is always the one that has the awesome patches and 
usually we pull some pretty cool stuff out of it. So, but I'm super jazzed to get into this tonight because I think they've pushed the date back on so many leaf things this year. Everything's kind of later than I think it should normally be. Next week, about this time, we'll be opening some leaf metal draft as well, if they don't change the date again. Hi, Jeff. I see you in chat, and I see that Nicholas was kind enough to answer the question um, about who the jersey hit was. So thank you, Nicholas, for answering that. If you happen to be watching live and you cannot see chat, a couple things you need to know. First one is you have to be logged into YouTube to see chat. The second one is if you happen to be watching on a mobile device, a tablet, or a phone, uh, I think you have to click on that link that says you want to view the desktop version. And once those two things have occurred, you should be able to jump in and see and join chat. Um, Arkham, for you, you missed the spreadsheet for Trinity Baseball? All right, since I haven't, uh, you know, normally once I cut the plastic on something, I don't like to go away from the live view for obvious reasons. Um, I tell you what, I have already cut the seals on this. Had I not already cut the seals, I could have uh, done that. So I tell you what, I'll put it up again for you right after we do the break Arkham because this is out of the plastic and I did just cut the seals on every single box. So um, I will put it up for you again at the end of the break. Um, that way I don't have to cut away, you know, I just, I just don't like going away from the live feed once stuff is out of the plastic, you know, because then it's anything can happen, right? I mean, I wouldn't do anything, but but not everyone knows me, so not everyone would know that, and I just don't I just don't feel comfortable doing it that way. Never have really done it that way. So we'll switch back and put it back up again uh, right after we do the break. Stang Lover is in chat tonight, and so is Louie. Louie's wishing everyone good luck. And Stang Lover's just saying, come on for my teams. <laughs> you got to respect that, though, right? <laughs> I mean, got to respect it. All right. So, of course, you guys know, uh, probably many of you, most of you have opened leaf things before. So, you know that they come out of the box already uh, in top loaders and sleeves and basically just kind of ready to go. Certain series, like when we open Valiant, they have graded cards in them. So you have graded cards as well as cards out in sleeves and uh, top loaders. But that's just the way they roll over there at Leaf. So everything kind of comes out ready to rock and roll. <laughs> now Stang Lover says, okay, he's, he's feeling the pressure. So now he says, okay, he wants to get something for everybody. <laughs> Jimmy, meanwhile, is after the Phillies and the Rays. All right, so first up here, we have Joe Perez. That is, what is that number to 10 on Mr. Joe Perez? Next up is uh, Greg Deichman. And where was the number on that? Did I look past the number on that or was it not numbered? I thought all these were numbered. Okay, I guess that is not numbered. I just thought they were all numbered, but I guess they are not. <laughs> uh, Louie is just waiting for the basketball. Okay, well, we won't be too far to get to the basketball, Louie. I'd say probably about maybe 30 minutes or so, something like that. Matt Sauer is next up. That one, of course, is the uh, patch and signature. Everything in here, as far as I know, is on card. I don't think we have any sticker autos in here you don't generally on le in leaf i don't think this would be any different brandon little brendan little to 25 is next up that's a nice looking patch right there that's pretty sweet uh pretty sweet little hit for the cubbies a printing plate which is of course going to be a one of one for sebastian no why did i say what is wrong with me tonight 
<laughs> this, this is Miranda Gonzalez. And why in the world? I don't even know where Sebastian came from, okay? I don't even know what ball player I could think of named Sebastian, nor why I said that. But anyway, there you go. Fernando Tatis, there is another nice little hit uh, with a pretty good size patch coming out of there. So, of course, that is, uh, he was traded away. So, he's a Padre now, I believe is correct. Riley Pint. Riley is not numbered that I see. Oh, these need to be reseated. They're all, you know, sliding up. Gavin Sheets, that is numbered to 10. Then we have Shane Baz. Shane is not numbered. Drew Ellis. That's nice for the Diamondbacks. And that is not uh, numbered either. I don't think, I guess none of these patches must be numbered because none of them have been so far that I have seen anyway. There's another Matt Sauer. This, of course, the one of one printing plate. And Ramos. For the Giants. Next up, we have Domingo Acevedo, also to 10. Followed by a nice little Lewis Brinson, who I can't wait to play in the big leagues. Aw, aw, that's so nice, right? So, of course, Lewis Brinson, uh, a brewer. James Nelson to 25. That is also a really nice looking patch. I like that patch very much. And one of the few Marlins left, I guess. <laughs> it seems like all the Marlins got traded away, but I guess they do still have some of their farm system. Patrick Mazaika, Mazaika, uh, very nice majestic logo patch there. A redemption. Our redemption is for who? Where does it say on here? Oh, Griffin Canning. Griffin Canning. Uh, and it just says parallels may be awarded at the time of fulfillment. So we don't really know which one you're going to get with that. Royce Lewis. There's a nice hit as well. So that just made the twins pretty happy with Royce Lewis, I would say. Of course, we'll do a quick little buzz through each of these again uh, at the end of the break as our recap. We'll, but this, as we go through them here the first time, at least we're looking at numbers and things as well. Alex Fado, 225, followed by Trevor Rogers. That one is not numbered for Trevor. And then we have a nice little Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. 2016 MLB Futures Game All-Star is the inscription that he added. 225 Coleman Brannon. I just love the patches in Trinity. They're so awesome. Followed by Mitch Keller. Hey, hey, Pirates. Another redemption. This one is for Cody Bellinger. Very nice in a patch auto. Dodgers, boom. Yeah, yeah, that is a nice hit for the Dodgers. Stang Lover says Lewis Brinson is Miami. I thought Lewis Brinson is uh, the Brewers. Yeah, I mean, here is Lewis Brinson again. Here's the Lewis Brinson card. And I mean, I was pretty sure Lewis Brinson was the Brewers, but that's also what it says on the back of the card as well. As you can see, he was originally signed by the Rangers and then traded to the Brewers. So like any of our other cards, if a card acknowledges a trade, it's going to go to the team that is acknowledged on the card. So this obviously acknowledges the trade to the Brewers and nothing beyond that. So that's why that would be a Brewers card. Yeah, he actually wasn't drafted by the Brewers either was he i mean he was drafted by the rangers then traded to the brewers he may have since been traded again 
but since it says brewers on the card and that's the last trade acknowledged on the card then again you know that would go to the brewers as a result blake hunt this is to 10. you know like in the instance of this for example where blake hunt is on here and there is no team if blake hunt had been traded 20 times then Blake Hunt could go to his current team but on any of the cards where it lists or acknowledge a team acknowledges a team it's going to go to the team that is listed on the card as the last or current team Ryan Valade and that's basically just because that's the way all of our baseball cards are you know if there's a some of the some of them will reflect a trade some of them will not shed long cincinnati reds and a very nice patch that's a really nice hit i like that for the reds very very cool Luis camposano and camposano is a padre Next up, Brendan McKay. Very nice little hit there for Brendan McKay. Yeah. So um, the Rays are on the board with a nice hit that they were looking for, I'm sure. And the Braves were looking for this. Ronald Acuna. Awesome hits back to back there. Austin Beck. Whoops, Austin is numbered to 25. D.L. Hall, that's going to be the Baltimore Orioles. Another tremendous patch there. Jeter Downs. How about my Cincinnati Reds with a second hit coming out? And Bukaus Bukauskas, J.B. Bukauskas. I actually don't know this player. What does this tell me about him? Uh, well, he was selected 15th, so I guess I should know him, but I don't. And he's an Astro, according uh, to the back of the card here. Ian Anderson. And Ian is not numbered. And our final patch. Oh, nice. Very nice. Mackenzie Gore. Did we totally save the best for last right there? Yeah, kind of. Padres. Boom. Boom with Mackenzie Gore. Oh yeah, that's really, really sweet. All right, so here's what we need to do. We're gonna flip back through these as a quick little recap, but before we do that, uh, someone wants to see the spreadsheet again. So let me get the spreadsheet back up and we'll flip through that again real quickly here for Trinity. And of course, obviously, you know, we just did this break, so the break's already done, but uh, just for the sake of someone who missed the spreadsheet earlier, here we go, uh, there it is again, and then we will recap our hits. If you did not, uh, if your team did not pull a card um, in this break, then you will still be sent something. You will not have to wait for your next hit because this was a paid shipping break. So if uh, you didn't pull anything, you'll still be sent something when the rest of the break ships. And once again, like in the case of a card like this, where it says he was drafted by the Rangers, traded to the Brewers, it's going to go to the Brewers. I realize he may have been traded again in the interim, but the last team listed on the card is the Brewers, so that's where that is going to go. Any teams that don't list a team, any cards that don't list a team on there at all, they will go to the current team that the player is playing for as of right now, today. So that's kind of how that's going to work. That's really how this leaf uh, always works because they're not licensed, as you know. Technically, they're licensed through the Players Association, but they're not licensed by MLB specifically. That's, you know, Tops has the exclusive on that. So they're never going to list, like, the full team under the player's name. The way they get around it is exactly like this when they just write a little paragraph on the back and talk about, oh, the Arizona Diamondbacks, you know, drafted him. So that's their way of being able to legally say that the card is an Arizona Diamondback. So, so that is the deal with that. We pulled some very nice stuff here out of the first half of this case. And that makes me even uh, more anxious to open the back part of the case. That's a really nice patch for the Cubs. 
so yeah so it's pretty pretty awesome I like the leaf products you guys all know this about me I open a lot of the leaf stuff because they have they usually have really good signers they have really good checklists most of the time as far as prospecting and that sort of stuff goes and their cards are always in good shape and they are uh, almost always on card autos if not always on card autos and I just like them I like the way they do things so I open a fair amount of leaf stuff and we've got a bunch of leaf football coming up besides of course more Trinity baseball as well what are you saying indeed there about staying lover I am not exactly sure I just see that you typed in indeed but I don't know what, I don't know what the indeed is Oh, that's too funny. Uh, Stang Lover says the guy who mails out the redemptions for Leaf uh, bought a card from him the other day, I'm assuming on eBay. So see them, we know not only do they create, they collect like the rest of us. So that makes it, uh, that's probably why their stuff is cool because they know how to do it right. They know what they would like. So that's what they produce. All right, that is this half of Trinity Baseball, back half of this case coming up on Sunday. And then the next case uh, we'll do next week. And I haven't decided yet if we'll do it as full case or half case. You know, we'll figure it out. But, uh, but anyway, I am sure that a lot of my baseball folks are getting ready to take off. So for those of you who are heading out, once again, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, if you have any questions about where any card is being assigned or going or anything like that, shoot me a message and let me know. But basically it is what I said a minute ago. If there's a team uh, listed on the card on the back, that's where it's going to go to wherever it says the current team is. If there is no team listed on the card, it's going to go to the team where that player is currently playing. Okay. So whether they're in the farm system or not, where whatever team they are currently affiliated with is where it will go. Let's get our spreadsheet back up to dig into some National Treasures football. So once again, if you are in this break, please take a moment to look at the info on the screen. Anticipated shipping date is Monday. And then there's information about what happens if you do not pull a card in the break. More information about that can also be found in the listing description. So this is four boxes, which is a full case of 2017 National Treasures football. Uh, this is break number four, so the fourth uh, one that we've busted into. And like our other items, it ended tonight, the 30th of March. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. And now, of course, is the time to be focusing all of your positive energy towards the team or teams or players that you want to pull. And let's see if we can't produce them. I'm going to tell you what, the case we opened earlier this week was smoking hot. I mean, it was a fantastic case. We pulled a quad um, one of one NFL Shields card with, of course, four of our hot rookies on it, among other things. I mean, it was an outstanding break. So I got to think this break's going to be every bit as good as that one was. Because I think we're just, we've been on a roll with National Treasures. We have pulled some fantastic stuff with it all year and all year <laughs> hasn't even been out but like a week or two all month I should say since it has been released is what I'm going to say and so I think we're going to continue on with that tonight with some awesomeness <laughs> sitting lover says come on jets and then says oh yeah and something for everyone else too <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Arkham Comics, I'm glad that you like your cards that you hit in Trinity. You had the Padres, and you did hit some very nice stuff, including that Mackenzie Gore, which was awesome. Nicholas, that's right. I could not remember who it was. I said the other night when I was doing the break, I said, oh, my gosh, somebody asked me for a box the other night. And I can't remember who it was. And I knew I had forgotten to reply, but I could not remember who asked me for it. 
So, yeah, sorry about that. It has been, well, every day, every week, it seems like is hectic. I don't think I have such a thing as a non-hectic week. But I remembered that I owed someone a box, that someone wanted a box. But what I could not remember is who it was. So, um, I will endeavor to remember that this time, Nicholas. And I will try to weigh it and everything uh, tomorrow so that I can at least tell you here's what the shipping weight and shipping cost would be. And we have another really fat box in here like we had uh, at the first of the week, which means that we're going to have one super awesome card in this little box, even more so than we might normally have, because National Treasures is always pretty good but it does make it really hard to cut the sticker when they're jacked up and high like that the sticker doesn't want to come off so yeah we're gonna have a nice little booklet in that box otherwise it wouldn't be setting up so tall like it is so how about that something to look forward to but you also know that that means I'll keep it for last because it'll be our favorite thing probably so that's kind of the downside that we know it's in there. I'm going to make you wait. I know. That's so bad. So, so bad. Oh, Wayne, you want one of the empty boxes too? Okay, then you definitely need to send me a message because I won't probably remember both of them. <laughs> I will do exactly what I did before and be like, oh, yeah, two people wanted boxes. Who were they? Um, so if you'll shoot me a message, I'll, I'll do the same thing for you. Uh, basically, guys, I'll just put it in a priority mailbox and get the weight on it, and I'll tell you what the uh, shipping weight is for that, and, you know, that's how we'll do it. So, Devin says, go cards. Jimmy is for the Pats, and Nicholas is nicely forgiving me for forgetting who it was that asked me for a box the last time. <laughs> so, thank you, Nicholas, for that. All right, first up, we have a Jordan Howard base card numbered 249 for the Bears. First out to get things started. Our first hit is Isaiah Ford, numbered to 10. Nice low number there for the Dolphins. A relic for the Kansas City Chiefs to 99 for the main man, Kareem Hunt. The Giants to 49, a little relic for Sterling Shepard. A big relic for Wayne Gallman, also to 99 for the Giants. And here we have a little card with two different teams on it. So this will end up going to random unless one person owns both teams. We have Mitch Trubisky and the Bears on one side and Ryan Sweetser and the Cowboys on the opposite side. Um, Louie, yeah, good grief. So everybody wants a box now. Okay, well, I only have four. So um, obviously we know Nicholas is getting one, and then whoever else asked me for one, which was Wayne, I think, and Louie's asking for one. So just, uh, yeah, just shoot me a message through eBay, and um, as I said, you'll you'll have to cover, you know, the cost of postage to get it to you, but we'll, we'll sort it out. That's to 99, Malachi Dupree, and that is for the Bills. You notice he is in a Packers uniform, okay, but the team notation on here is the Bills, and it says somewhere on there, traded to the Bills, right there in those little bitty letters, and of course, the most important part, Bills team designation on the back. Kareem Hunt, rookie signature booklet to 99, Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, you're so happy, aren't you? That's nice. So nice. So nice. Kansas City Chiefs get their sweat out of the way early on because they hit out of the first pack. Uh, the Redemption, I turned it over. We're going to look at it at the end of the break. Joe Mixon to 25 for the Bengals. Three really nice patches and an on-card auto. And the Bengals have a very nice hit. All right, Jimmy Graham is our base card here. That is numbered to 
88, which is his uniform number, right? Is that Jimmy? Is that Jimmy Graham's uniform number with the Seahawks? I think it is. Maybe it was. I think it was. Jarvis Landry to 75, Dolphins. So if you guys didn't notice earlier, those of you who are into National Treasures, if you're into Flawless, it is coming Wednesday, and we are going to bust into it. And Flawless, of course, one box of Flawless costs uh, probably, well, almost as much as the whole case of this cost. For the Rams to 99, Josh Reynolds. It is, and it's all on card, and there's gems in there. I mean, actual, you know, diamond chips and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty sweet product. To 99 franchise favorites, Lynn Dawson, Kansas City Chiefs. How about the Chiefs are just going to keep rolling? Here's another Kareem Hunt to 99 relic. I'm going to set our little rookie booklet way up there at the top so that he stays uh, tucked away. Another dual team card, and that is Sweet Sir for the Cowboys on one side, John Ross for the Bengals on the other. It is numbered to 99. Like our other dual team card, it will end up going to random unless the same person owns both teams. Donnell Pumphrey to 49 for the Eagles. Oh, one of one for the Lions. Little Kenny G. Kenny Galladay, very nice with the laundry tag. One of one. Sweet hit. Lions. And if anybody wants a magnetic one-touch case for anything that you pull with me, all you have to do is let me know. It is um, my cost for the case and the PayPal fees, etc. It is basically $3 a case. The only thing I don't have a case for are the like multi-fold booklets. I probably even have one that that Kareem Hunt would fit in, but of course it would be opened up to go into the case. Zach Ertz. This is a sticker auto. It is also for the Eagles and it is to 49 and you had a, of course a relic on there too. Man, the Chiefs are going to town. How about Pat Mahomes to 99 relic and signature to go along with uh, your treasure chest of stuff that you have already hit, Kansas City. Putting everybody else to shame. Whoops, that is the wrong sleeve. Jay Ajayi to 99 Eagles. One of the few, maybe the only card we've had this year that properly reflects Jay Ajayi in his Eagles uniform. Drew Brees to 75 for the Saints. Pittsburgh Steelers make an appearance to 99 with James Harrison. Of course, he's he abandoned us, wandered off over there to New England. Jarvis Landry and Kenny Stills to 99 for the Dolphins. 49ers are getting involved with Joe Montana. Very nice to 25. Let's see, is that game worn? No, it just says player worn. Sometimes you get lucky in their game worn, even on some of these older guys. But uh, very nice little uh, hit for the 49ers with the Montana relic to 49. Now the Eagles are on a bit of a roll. After a couple of other nice hits, they now have Mac Hollins to 10 with a nice four-color patch and a huge on-card signature. Like, that guy took up the whole entire space plus a little. He, he really took advantage of the amount of space they gave him to sign. <laughs> now we have Mark Mosley for the Redskins. And I don't know what is happening right there. I think it just, I guess that's his signature and then MVP 82 and his uniform number. That kind of doesn't look like it says Mark Mosley, but I guess it does. Carlos Henderson, Broncos to 99 on card and relic. Uh-oh, we got another one of one coming. <laughs> oh, told you this was going to be a good case. This is also for the Chiefs, a one of one Tyreek Hill with the Nike swoosh. So, Kansas City Chiefs, you may as well just go ahead and play the lottery tonight. Wherever you live, go play it, because you're probably going to hit it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Jaguars, 
You're happy now. Leonard Fournette, 227. With a four-color patch on card, hard-signed auto, and a beautiful hit for the Jags. And, of course, we still have a redemption to flip over, which we'll take care of uh, in a little bit. And we get this last. This was our big thick box that has our, our nice multi-relic uh, booklet in it, or what I'm pretty sure is going to be a multi-relic booklet. Amir Abdullah to 99 Lions. Another Drew Brees. This one to 75 for the Saints. A dual signed, both for the 49ers, Bethard and Breda. So the Niners with another nice hit. Oh my goodness. Oh, somebody, well, just, I'm not even, yeah. You can wait just a second, because I now need to get a one-touch case before we even pick that up. So hold on there a moment, please while I find uh, the right case for this. Because I'm not, yeah, I'm not even picking that up without putting it in it. It's going straight into a case. I told you guys that this was going to be a good case. But man alive, I did not know it was going to be as good as it's about to be. It has already been exceptional. And it's about to get a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Deshaun Watson, one of one. Oh, <laughs> how about that noise? Yeah, Deshaun Watson, one of one for the Texans. And you know, I think the Texans sold tonight for less than they have sold any of the other breaks that we have done. Uh, and tonight's the night we pull the one of one. But that is um, that is an insanely good hit. Not to mention that it's, what, our third or fourth one of one in here? Jim Taylor for the Packers. And what is Jim Taylor number two? Ten. For the Pack. Not to leave out the Falcons. Here comes Matt Ryan to ten. With a nice looking patch there. And who is coming out next? It is numbered to 99, Michael Vick. Falcons with back to back hits. Oh, we're just having lots of fun tonight. Numbered to 25, we have Kareem Hunt, Dalvin Cook, and Christian McCaffrey sharing a card. So again, we will have to go to random you have to own 51 percent of the card to take it outright so if someone owns two of the three teams they take this card outright if no one owns two of the three we will go to random to decide where it ultimately goes and again uh, if you have any questions about how any of that works it is all in the listing description down there at the bottom in the special circumstances area to 99 joe williams for the 49ers here comes our fantastic treasure chest booklet. It's numbered to 25, which is lower than our last one was. But guess what? It's for the same team it was for out of the last case, the Broncos. They hit one of these nice treasure chest booklets numbered, I think, to 99 out of the last case. This one numbered to 25 has even better looking relics than the last one did. So the Broncos... Yeah, they just uh, scored big time right there. Now, our redemption is, we're going to flip this over, then we'll go to the checklist and verify it and see what it's going to be numbered to. And it is, oh, my Steelers, baby. Juju Smith-Schuster, and it's RPS Gold. So you know that bad boy is going to be low-numbered. But we're going to find out exactly how low in just a second. Because we're going to scroll over there and check it out. This is Rookie Signatures RPS Gold is the card set that we're going to be looking for. So, let me get us all back here on the right page. 
and we'll go check this out. But did I not tell you guys at the first, before we cracked a box, that I felt like this is going to be a good case again? Yes, I did. And was it a good case? Oh, yeah, it might be the best one we've had so far. And we've had some nice ones. I think this might be the best. This is just so crazy good. I'm going to make sure. Yeah, I had to go back and check, make sure I had you on the same page I was on. Every once in a while, I forget. Especially because I'm all excited about what we've pulled, you know. All right, here we go. Rookie signature way down here somewhere. Where are you? Rookie signature RPS gold. Juju is card number 11. He is going to be numbered to 25 for the Steelers. So that was uh, probably worth the wait. Steelers were probably a little nervous, but that turned out pretty well for you, I think. But we have a few odds and ends to do before we recap. First off, we'll take a look at this. This is Bears and Cowboys. We're going to go to the spreadsheet here and see if we have the same team owner. If we do, we don't have to do anything else. If we don't, we'll head to random for that. I do always put things in random, either left to right or top to bottom, depending on how a card is oriented. That one, of course, being oriented left to right, it would go in as Bears and then Cowboys. So Du Bois has the Cowboys, and then the Bears is ZH Malik 4. So that means we are headed to random. When this goes into random, I will run through random three different times. The first two times do not count. It is only the third and final random that will determine where the card goes. So here goes the first one. Ignore it. The second one, ignore it. Here's our third and final. There you'll see. Randomize three times or date and time stamp. It goes to the Cowboys. So that is this card right here. And of course, I'm sure, surely you know I wouldn't write on a card, but just to prove it, it's on the sleeve. And that is to the Cowboys. Next up, Chiefs, Vikings, and Panthers. You have to own two of the three to take it out right. I got to get myself back on the right page along with you. All right, so Kansas City Chiefs, sports cars for you, who's already had an excellent break. Minnesota Vikings, Mr. Bass 12. And then the Carolina Panthers, uh, that says Patrice, no, Patrick, Patrick Newto 48, something like that. Something close to that, maybe. Anyway, point of the matter is it's not the same team owner, so we do have to head over here to random. And this one, of course, will go in as Chiefs, Vikings, and Panthers, because that's how it is on the card. Same format as before. First two randoms do not count, only the third one. So ignore the first one, ignore the second one. Third and final right here, date and time stamp going to Kansas City Chiefs, if you can believe it. They've already had such an amazing break, and they just um, added to it by uh, adding this little card to their pile by way of random.org. One more to deal with, that is the Cowboys and the Bengals. So by now, you guys know the format. You know what's happening next. So our Cowboys, once again, Du Bois, 5168. Our Bengals are Cade Man, 2394. Whoops, I forgot to move myself along with you. That would be a problem, wouldn't it? So it goes in Cowboys, Bengals. And ignore the first one. Ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final. There you'll see our three times or date and time stamp. That one is headed to the Cowboys. So look at that. The Cowboys won both of the cards they had in random. One from the left side and one from the right side. How about that? Okay, let's recap this amazing, crazily amazing case of National Treasures. Only have one case of this left, and it's going to break 
on, I forgot, what did I say? Tuesday night? <laughs> I think Tuesday night. And that'll be the end of NT, but we'll be starting Flawless the next night. So, so we're just going to flip back through here everything that we hit in NT. And as soon as we do that, then we'll be heading into some basketball where we are going to open up a case of Chronicles. Going back, uh, doing a little searching for some, some high-powered, uh, high-priced, high-dollar, whatever I'm trying to say, <laughs> inserts that have a possibility of coming out of there. I see, Robert, I didn't see your comment a minute ago, but he said uh, you had the lion, so that is awesome. And I agree with you, it was, or is, a really nice case. We hit a tremendous amount of stuff in here that was uh, well, well worth the price of admission, so to speak. So, but I tell you what, though, the Chiefs really did absolutely clean up in this break, but I don't think you really, I don't know that you top the Texans. You know, they got the one hit, but holy mackerel, was it a good one. I mean, yeah, sometimes the one is all you need. And of course, the Broncos with the booklet. Isn't that so weird, though, that we just hit, in the last case, another one of those Broncos booklets? That one was to 99. This one was to, uh, and remember, this Malachi Dupree, Bills, and it does have the notation on there that he was traded to the Bills as well, even though he's in a Packer uniform. But I wonder if the same person had the Broncos in the last break as this break. If they did, they have two of those treasure chest booklets now. They probably don't, but you never know. Could have been the same person. But what I really feel kind of bad about, I think all the cases up to this one, I think we did have the same bidder for the Texans. And then tonight, we had a different bidder for the Texans, and that's when the hit came. That's, I mean, I'm happy for whoever got it because it's an awesome hit, but it makes me feel kind of sad for the person who had it the first couple of times, two or three times. So again, this one was awarded to the Chiefs uh, by way of random. This one awarded to the Cowboys also by way of random. And this one to the Cowboys by way of random. And then, of course, our nice redemption for Juju Smith-Schuster and the Steelers will be numbered to 25. And now we're coming into the rest of our super, super nice stuff. Leonard Fournette to 27 for the Jags. Awesome hit, Jacksonville. And the Kansas City Chiefs with a one-of-one one Tyreek Hill Nike swoosh. The Lions with a one-of-one one Kenny Galladay laundry tag. The Houston Texans with the one-of-one one Deshaun Watson. I mean, that is, what is that, a couple months worth of house payment? Maybe a couple months worth of house and car payment? I mean, that is, oh, that is massive. The rookie booklet uh, for Kareem Hunt and the Kansas City Chiefs, which got things started off for us tonight in such a good way, numbered to 99, and the break just kept getting better as we went along. And then finally, our uh, multi-relic treasure chest book to 25 for the Broncos. And you can see this thing has kind of a, it's put together in kind of a wonky sort of way. So, um, you know, I'll figure out how to get it shipped to you safely, but the binding on this is not, you know, it's not super tight because, well, it can't be. You have to be able to open it and fold it and all that. But so my point is it moves around like this on the back, you know, kind of a side to side sort of thing, but it's supposed to do that. So that's the only way that they could fit all that in there. So that case of National Treasures is in the books and it was a good one. But now we're switching gears and we're going to roll into Chronicles Basketball, which is also a full case. Let me get the spreadsheet up for that. And of course, again, I'm anticipating the shipping date to be Monday. Uh, that can be plus or minus a day. It could go Saturday. I doubt that very much because that's tomorrow. 
uh, or it could go Tuesday if something goes uh, slightly haywire, but my best guess is Monday. And everybody should hit at least uh, a few cards in this break, so you don't have to worry about consolation cards here, because I'd say every team's going to pull some cards at the minimum for Chronicles. And this is 10 boxes of 2017-18 Panini Chronicles Basketball as a full case break. It is break number six. Like our other things tonight, it ended uh, here on the 30th. We're live streaming it here on the 30th. And, of course, uh, we have team names on one side and your name in lights as the winning bidder across from it on the opposite side. Uh, Robert, the... None of the none of the National Treasure stuff goes in a one touch unless you tell me you want to pay the three dollars for the one touch. Except obviously I put the Deshaun Watson one of one in there because I didn't want to even pick it up to show it on camera without it being in a one touch case. Everything else goes in a sleeve and a top loader unless um, you want a magnetic one touch case. If you do, uh, you just have to jump into eBay, send me a message, and let me know. Then I would send you a PayPal money request for the three dollars for the case and that covers of course my cost to buy the case as well as the paypal fees that i'll get charged to receive the payment and the extra shipping weight that it will cost to mail the case etc so that's what that three dollars covers so if you do want a one touch magnetic for anything that you hit that's all you need to do is just jump in there and send a message on ebay tell me specifically you know which card and which break and then I would send you a money request directly to the email address that you have on file with PayPal. So that's how that would work. Louie says he is looking for the Clippers. And I've got to see what Nicholas says. I can't see that far. So let me see. Let me get these stacked up kind of out of the way here. And Nicholas says, oh, you're going to bid for the Steelers on Tuesday night. Hey, I'm always about the Steelers. You know I love my Steelers, so for sure. Um, for sure, for sure. Well, thank you too, Nicholas. Have a good night yourself and a good uh, Easter weekend. It is Easter weekend after all. So that means uh, April Fool's Day and Easter are going to be on the same day. I think I read somewhere that that hasn't been the case in like 60-something years. So since before before most of us, or many of us, or all of us were alive, uh, was the last time April Fool's Day and Easter were on the same day. So, huh, how about that? And Nathaniel has the sons... <laughs> you said you want the same mojo you had for the last select case. Well, we'll do our best. We definitely will. So here's the deal with these guys. Um, these base cards, unless somebody really, really, really wants to look at them all super up close, I'm not going to like flip them all around because um, they're not really what we care too much about. The ones that are numbered, of course, I will. And that is to 199 on the Nicholas Batum. Celtics are getting things started. Semi Ogile Relic and Signature to 199. But of course, the Chronicles base cards we all can recognize, they're not super attractive. The thing that we really care about the most are all of these inserts. And some inserts are harder to find than others. And some of them, consequently, are worth more than others. And some of them are worth several thousand dollars if we pull the right one. For the Kings, that is Justin Jackson Majestic to 199. So the ones that we are particularly looking for, gold standard. Um, most cases there's one. I did have one case where we had seven or eight. Most of the time it's one. Bam Adebayo for the Heat, limited to 249. The Titanium, that is another one that we don't pull very many of. I think one case I had none. The other cases um, I had anywhere from two to four. That was a pinnacle for Frank Mason. This is Momentum, Frank Nick Kalina for the Knicks. 
then aside from those two gold standard and titanium i mean there are others in here that are kind of in short supply too but the big kahuna the granddaddy of them all is gala and if we find a gala that is just the same as money in the bank right there they are we did not find a single gala in the first five cases that we opened to give you an idea and if you find one of say jason tatum or donovan mitchell or lonzo ball you'd get a couple thousand dollars for it or at least a thousand depending on which player that is the 299 i guess i can put those in sleeves later you don't have to do all those as we go i guess Derek white for the spurs and Derek is numbered 299 oh yeah you had uh well you had more than just the anthony davis auto in that nathaniel you had the um frank jackson tie-dye right to 25 wasn't that in the same case zach collins to 249 that is the momentum card set and here's a little donovan Mitchell, it's uh, numbered 2149. A majestic Jonathan Isaac for the magic. I tell you what, I'll just put all those in sleeves after the fact, then we can go through this a little at a little better pace, and I'll sleeve them after the fact. Wesley Owundu for the magic. That was in Panini Basketball, is the name of that card set that that one was on oh yeah that's right you guys the panini points too i'd about forgotten about those but of course i was jealous over the anthony davis because you know i love ad to 199 to mark carroll for the nets ricky rubio for the jazz to 199 Lonzo Ball coming up for Majestic. We will put him in a sleeve because it's numbered to 99. The rest of them will, mostly we'll put them in sleeves after the break, but a few as we go maybe. Terrence Ferguson for the Thunder, numbered to 249. That's in Limited. That's uh, basically all of these things that we pull inserts for are sets of cards that Panini's not producing as a freestanding released this year for basketball there's alonzo pinnacle justin Patton for the wolves momentum so the moral of the story is this when you get your cards make sure you check all of your inserts because some of them may sell for more money than you would think you know they the inserts really have been doing as a whole pretty well out of chronicles which is the main reason that i brought more of it in because i saw how much uh return on investment you could get on some of that and then of course is it tomorrow night tomorrow night or sunday night we're opening some more don russ basketball of course the goal there is to find the next day autos which are on card to 299 Stephen Adams for the Thunder. Look at that. There comes Anthony Davis again. Do you have Nola again tonight, Nathaniel? You told me you have the Suns. Do you have Nola too? Because if you do, that you're just like an Anthony Davis magnet if you have him again. This is to 99 on that relic. Here is a nice little titanium. This one is numbered to 45. These can be numbered to uh, all kinds of different things depending on which titanium set it is this one he was chosen 45th overall in the draft that's why it is numbered 245 and dylan brooks and the grizzlies there's Dwayne bacon to 199 for the hornets a pinnacle insert for dylan brooks again nice little jason tatum momentum Oh no, you didn't have you didn't have Nola tonight. Okay, well, I was thinking maybe you just had some good luck with Anthony Davis in general. If you had him again tonight, I was gonna say, you know, I needed to follow you around and bid wherever you were bidding. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find you some good sons in here tonight too. This is to ninety-nine Malcolm Brogdon 
for uh, the Bucks. And the Bucks are going to have a hit with DJ Wilson to 199 relic and autograph. Panini basketball, uh, Bogdan, 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 blah, 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 Bogdan, Bogdanovic. <laughs> That's to 249. That's on the Panini basketball uh, card set. Brilliance. We do not find a ton of these, but there probably will be five or six in the case if we're lucky. That is Jonathan Isaac to 249 for the Magic. Panini Basketball, Davin Reed for the Suns. Pinnacle for the Nuggets, Tyler Lydon. And someone came into chat the other night and had been at an industry summit meeting. And in that meeting, Panini said that when Chronicles comes back for the upcoming year, they're going to do away with the base cards entirely to 299 for the Rockets. So they kind of listened to us when we said, eh, we don't like the look of the base cards. And they're going to make it a really hit-heavy product, and I think they're going to keep uh, along the same lines of doing all the cool inserts from sets that aren't freestanding releases. To 199, Luke Kennard and the Pistons, or for the Pistons. So I think that Chronicles for the upcoming year is going to be even better. I'm pretty... I'm pretty stoked about it because I love all the inserts in here. Larry Markin into 199 for the Bulls. That is the momentum card set. Jawan Evans numbered to 299 for the Clippers. Here's a nice little Josh Jackson for you on Majestic. And then I'm trying to think what else do we have coming up besides. Don Russ. This is to, what is that to? 149 for Andrew Wiggins and the T-Wolves. So the Don Russ is either tomorrow or Sunday. And then maybe Tuesday night we're doing another case of Revolution. The hobby, not the Chinese New Year that we did last month, but the hobby that we did earlier this month. Chasing the on-card autos. And we had very good luck in the last case and hit Jason Tatum on-card. So I'm kind of picking and choosing, if you will, um, out of the stuff that's already been released where I think we have the most potential to make money. And that's what I'm bringing back in to open a set, you know, a second go round of. And they announced some new basketball products uh, this week beyond what we already knew about, which was encased basketball to $2.99 Dwight Howard in the Hornets. They have announced Dominion Basketball, which is pretty high end. It's like two, I don't know, fifty, two seventy-five a box, something like that. Malik Monk to one ninety-nine for the Hornets, and it looks very nice. Dominion Basketball does, and then the other one I forgot what Essentials I think is the name of the other one. That is Zizik to ninety-nine for the Cavs. And that was on the Majestic card set. Panini Basketball, Sterling Brown for the Bucks. Capella uh, to 149, start to say 249 for the Rockets. So yeah, Essentials and Dominion and Encased are the three new products. And they're coming out, of course, after... National Treasures, which is kind of weird, but basketball's always done that. Put National Treasures earlier than, you know, football puts it at the very end of the season. They kind of slap it in the middle in basketball. This is DJ Wilson to 49 for the Bucks. This is our gold standard card set. And as I said before, in some cases, we only found one gold standard card. And in other, uh, other cases, we found... You know, maybe a couple. And in one case, I really did find like six. It was crazy. To 299 uh, for the Nets with Carroll again. Well, Contenders Basketball, I can't really get any more of Contenders Basketball. Um, 
yeah, I mean, I'm out of that and everybody marked the price up so high. I can't even, I don't even think, I don't even think I, we could break that again. If I could even find enough of it. That's to $1.99, Lakers with a nice little Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, that's one that, you know, I ordered some when it came out. And we broke what I had, and I didn't order any extra, and I should have, but I didn't. So there you go. To $199 for the Clippers on the Pinnacle. Insert Cinderius Thornwell. Markel Fultz. That is numbered to 249 for the Sixers. If I remember correctly, the thing about Contenders is that it was coming out originally the same week as a bunch of other really expensive stuff. De'Aaron Fox for the Kings Panini Basketball is the card set. On the Pinnacle card set, we have Osman for the Cavs. And so I didn't order as much as I would have ordered had I known how it was ultimately going to turn out. Because what happened, of course, is that the release dates on everything moved. And then it ended up being on a week where I could have easily, you know, probably carried two or three times as much. That's to $199 Batum for the Hornets. But originally, you know... They had Tribute coming out that week, which is like a couple thousand bucks a case. And then they had uh, Contenders, which isn't cheap. And something else really high-end football was the same week. Tyler Lydon to $199 for the Nuggets. A Pinnacle Artist Proof for Lonzo Ball. And that one is to $249 for the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, the other thing about contenders, of course, is uh, they just didn't make very much of it. For the Nets, this is to 199 So if you didn't order it in the pre-order window, you were not going to get it after the fact for any kind of reasonable price. Ananobi, Raptors, that was the Momentum card set. Malik Monk, Majestic card set for the Hornets. But, you know, it's been that way all year. They haven't made enough basketball of really hardly anything the entire year. Prestige is another one that I liked. I mean, that one was Hobby Direct, of course. So um, my local hobby store owner had to order that case in for us. But that had cracked ice in it this year for the first time as well. And it also had the Micro Etch Rookies. I mean, Prestige was a nice uh, product this year, but again, hard to get unless you own a hobby store, or in my case, you know, the guy who owns ours was nice enough to to order it in for us. Uh, that is the Celtics, Kyrie Irving to 199 Joachim Noah for the Knicks to 99 it looks like Noah, he's got maybe a little, eh, he's got some little dinged up uh, corners and edges, but nothing too outrageous. To 199, Markel Fultz for the Sixers, who's finally back on the court. And seems like he's shooting the basketball with reasonable form again, finally. To 149, that is for the Suns with Mike James. Panini Basketball, Mike James again for the Suns. And the Suns are just going to keep on coming. Because here's a Pinnacle insert, Josh Jackson. A Pinnacle card set. I mean, same thing. It's a Pinnacle card set insert, technically. I think is the right way to say it. But yeah, so I'm, I did not get nearly as much National Treasures basketball as I wanted either. But I don't think anybody's going to get as much as they want. To 199, Anthony Davis for Nola. Markel Fultz and the Sixers. Auto and Relic numbered 249. Nice low number hit for the Sixers. De'Aaron Fox to 249, Majestic. 
And then we have a little Cinderius Thornwell. He is numbered to $2.99 for the Clippers. For the Jazz, finally, we have Donovan Mitchell show up. Uh, Pinnacle is the card set. And then, of course, you know the other thing that comes out Wednesday is Optic. So Optic Basketball will be busting into Wednesday. Jonathan Isaac for the Magic Momentum insert card set. They didn't give me nearly as much optic as I wanted either, but what are you going to do? They capped everybody this year. For the Heat to 299 Dion Waiters. To tell you the truth, I think it's Panini just taking a page out of uh, Top's book and making everything in smaller quantities to increase the demand. It's probably working. Davin Reed for the Suns. That is two ninety nine. Little autograph hit for Phoenix. He got Phoenix at a good price tonight too. I was really shocked at how inexpensively uh, they sold tonight. To ninety nine, an artist proof Josh Jackson pinnacle card set. Terrence Ferguson for the Thunder limited card set to one hundred and forty nine. Another Malik Monk, Majestic. That one is not numbered that I saw. This is numbered to 10, Andre Drummond. Pistons. And that's going to bring us into this box here represents our halfway point. This is box five. This is a 10 box break. So after we look at this one, we'll be at exactly the halfway point. Josh Jackson doesn't have any autographs in this and Chronicles. I didn't realize that. I don't know how I didn't really. I, well, you know what? I don't even really go look at most of the checklists myself. As far as like team breakdowns, obviously we look at them when I have redemptions to pull up and I usually give them a quick once over right when a product comes out. But I hadn't noticed specifically that he wasn't in it to $1.99 for the Nets. But again, it's not the autos that I think are the important part of this. But to me, it's the inserts that are the money in this particular series. LeBron James and the Cavs to 199 Now, of course, you can still pull autos that are worth some money out of here, for sure. But that's the wrong sleeve. But the main appeal of it, from my standpoint, is the, the inserts. To 99 Sendarius Thornwell and the Clippers. Oh, you're saying he has memorabilia in here. Okay, maybe that's what I remember seeing for him then. This is another Brilliance insert. This one will be uh, lower numbered. It is Caleb Swanigan, and it's to 149. So a little lower number than the last one. Another Donovan Mitchell Pinnacle. Another Cinderius Thornwell for the Clippers. This one is Momentum. But I am, I was really glad to hear that they're, what am I doing, that they are doing away with the base cards next year because I don't like the base cards this year that much. I don't think they look all that good. To 199 another Dwight Howard for the Hornets. The Blazers are pulling out a Zach Collins. To 99 Auto and Relic. I gotta get some more sleeves out here. Yeah, it depends on which autograph you pull out of here. I mean, I've certainly seen some decent prices for, you know, Donovan Mitchells and and uh, Jason Tatum's and your usual high end rookies. But again, most of the money comes from the inserts to one ninety nine Ananobi for the Raptors. That is Panini basketball. 
Another brilliance, this is Luke Kennard and the Pistons to 149. De'Aaron Fox, Momentum. Majestic, we have Tyler Lydon for the Nuggets. Meanwhile, I have a little, uh, that little kitten. I tell you guys about this little kitten all the time. It's a little stray kitten I found outside back in November. And he lives here now because I never found him another home. And he's into everything all the time. And he just turned something over. I don't know what it was, but it made a big crash. <laughs> so I'll have something to clean up later downstairs. To two ninety nine, Tony Parker and the Spurs. He's quite uh, an energetic little cat. And he does weird stuff. He's very entertaining. He's very smart. But, man, <laughs> he's he's like a one-man wrecking crew. Jarrett Allen to 199 for the Nets. I actually like that hit for the Nets. I think that kid's been playing really well. I think he's going to just get better. And I don't pull a whole lot of his signatures. So I think that's a pretty good little hit there. To 249, a pinnacle artist proof. Dennis Smith Jr. and the Mavericks. Tyler Lydon to 299 Nuggets. Panini Basketball, Larry Markinen for the Bulls. Millsap. Is he not numbered? Always oh, numbered on the front. Sorry. To 149. Always forget that. They number the veterans on the front in here and they number the rookies on the back, which is just weird. I don't know why they don't do it all the same way, but but they don't. Keep us on our toes, I suppose. Oh, you know what else I got in recently? Oh, well, it's on the way. It's not here yet. Some of you who bid with me on basketball last year will remember that I used to do a lot of breaks with 2012-13 and 2013-14 combos of various stuff. 12-13, you know I love because it has not only the rookie class of 12 13 it also has the rookie cards of the 11 12 rookie class in it because there was the lockout that year so anything 12 13 you get more bang for your buck because you get two rookie classes you know shots at two rookie classes out of it this is to 199 uh, with Nurkic and the Blazers here comes a nice little Jason Tatum for the Celtics relic to 99 a Panini Basketball insert also for Jason Tatum. That is to 199 And then a Jonathan Isaac to 199 for the Magic. Followed by Luke Kennard and the Pistons Momentum card set. Uh, Tadosic Clippers. That was the Majestic card set. Um... What was I talking about? I've already forgotten what I was talking about now. Oh, the 12, 13, 13, 14 stuff. Yeah, so I used to do uh, like innovation, 12, 13, and 13, 14, and we would do timeless treasures, 12, 13, 13, 14, etc. And all of a sudden, of course, everybody decided that they had to go find Giannis to 99, Stephen Adams for the Thunder. And so all the 13, 14 stuff started disappearing on me. Tyler Lydon for the Nuggets. That is 249. Relic and signature. A little die cut Tyler Dorsey for the Hawks. That is numbered to 10. Uh, momentum. It's a very nice hit for the low number die cut and the Hawks. So, um, well, we may as well wait. Brilliance. Ivan Rab Grizzlies to 249. Next up comes a Josh Jackson momentum insert. And an Enos Cantor numbered to 10 for the Knicks. So I stopped doing a lot of the 12, 13, 13, 14 breaks because a lot of the 13, 14 stuff that I had been buying for 
the better part of a year, suddenly either doubled in price or disappeared entirely. But this week, I got my hands on a little more. Al Horford to 299 Celtics. So we're going to be opening some more of Timeless Treasures, 1213 and 1314, coming up uh, before too long. And I also found a few odds and ends we can do mixers with. Jordan Bell to 249 Majestic for the Warriors. And Terrence Ferguson to 299 for the Thunder. A Jason Tatum Panini Basketball. Celtics. Pinnacle uh, for the Pacers. So as soon as that stuff gets here, which will, should be here in a few days, we have a redemption, but we're going to wait to flip it. I'll put together uh, some more of that sort of stuff. Probably do a mixer of like some 16, 17 stuff, but a bunch of different products together in one break. And we'll do some more 12, 13, 13, 14 stuff. And then, I don't know. Let's see what else. I ordered a bunch of, a bunch of different basketball stuff. So we have uh, a lot of that kind of thing I'll be putting up pretty soon. Just mixed in, of course, with all of our other stuff. Bulls with a nice hit. Laurie Markinen on the gold standard insert to 49. So that is a nice uh, a nice little card for the Bulls. Malik Monk. He is not numbered though. This is the one that's numbered. To 299 Bradley Beal Wizards. Jordan Bell for the Warriors. Nice hit. Autograph to 199. Pinnacle, 249 Dylan Brooks Grizzlies. Bogdanovic, 199 Kings. Darren Fox, Panini Basketball. Bam Adebayo, Miami Heat, Pinnacle. But, you know, Panini could have done a better job with this this year if they had just put some of the autographs on the inserts, which is what they did with Chronicles Baseball. And why they didn't do the same thing in basketball is beyond me. I mean, because these are not on-card autos anyway, so you could have easily added that to $2.99 Brandon Ingram and the Lakers. I don't know why they didn't. Dirk Nowitzki, Mavericks to 199 Because baseball was pretty awesome. I mean, you could pull out some really nice stuff, uh, signed inserts out of there. To 249 a little Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. And that is Majestic. A Jason Tatum to 299 Celtics. Sterling Brown, Bucks. That was Panini Basketball. Isaiah Thomas, 149, Cavaliers. He had another hip surgery. He's out again. Isaiah Thomas, I mean. Enos Cantor to, what does that say? 99 for the Knicks. Thought it said 94 there for a minute. It's like, why would, why would there suddenly be one numbered to 94? Because there wasn't. Sterling Brown, Bucks, 199. Bam Adebayo, Artist Proof, to 199. Pinnacle, Miami Heat. Brilliance, Luke Kennard, 249. Detroit Pistons. For the Hornets, Dwayne Bacon. Momentum. Donovan Mitchell, Majestic. Boy, I wish I knew what that little cat was into right now, because I keep hearing all this stuff. Just, it's like, oh, it's not good. 
I went down there the other night after hearing a big crash during a break, and he had turned over the fireplace set. You know, the little tool set that's like the broom and the little shovel and all that stuff. Yeah. And, of course, we have a, a tile uh, floor. Not a tile floor in the whole room, but right in front of the fireplace. So if ashes or embers or whatever jump out, you know, don't burn the house down. So, of course, he turns over this little thing of metal tools all onto the tile floor down there. So, yeah, that's why it made such a tremendous crash. But I guess I was kind of relieved it wasn't worse because it sounded like it was going to be. <laughs> to 299, Tony Parker. Tony Bradley and the Jazz to 199. For the Bulls, Laurie Markinen to 249 Panini Basketball insert. After that is Dylan Brooks and the Grizzlies to 199. For the Knicks, Frank Nitkalina, Momentum. Jimmy Butler is 149 for the T-Wolves. I don't know. I called my mom the other day and said, like, how long do these little kittens have this kind of energy? She's like, oh, probably first year or two. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> to 99, Carl Anthony Towns had a monster game. 50-something points and double-digit rebounds. It's like 55 or 6 points and 15 rebounds or something. Frank Jackson for NOLA. To 199, Relic and Signature. Jonathan Isaac, Momentum to 199, Magic. Brilliant, Tyler Lydon, Nuggets to 149. I think it was the most points in franchise history for the T-Wolves, if I remember right, that Carl Anthony uh, scored the other night. Nick Kalina, Panini Basketball, Knicks. Pinnacle for the Clippers, Sendarius Thornwell. We have two boxes left and one redemption that we haven't flipped over yet. And I do that every time. I keep leaving a pack setting up there, like every single time, don't I? <laughs> I'm just like, I just keep looking right past it for whatever reason. I don't know. To 299, Draymond Green. Lonzo Ball, the Lakers already hit a nice Kyle Kuzma. Now they can have a Lonzo Ball to go with it to 149. So no matter how you cut it, I think that's still a good break for the Lakers. Caleb Swanigan, 249 Blazers. That was the momentum card set, sorry. Wesley Awundu to 299 for the Magic. Dwayne Bacon, Hornets, Momentum. Majestic, Donovan Mitchell, Utah Jazz. Now we have two boxes left. And a, and a redemption to flip. So, I have to plan out my Monday to go get a bunch of Easter candy half price. Isn't that awful? <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing. Only at Easter do they make sweet tart jelly beans. That's the only time of the year you can get them. And jelly beans as a whole, not a huge fan. But I love sweet tarts. And sweet tart jelly beans, that's to have $1.99, Chris Middleton bucks, are probably the best candy ever made ever they're so good so we always go around and get enough sweet tart jelly beans to last for the whole year if there's any left uh you know the day after easter alec peters for the suns to 199 of course you know we get some like regular full price but if we find any half price after the fact we load up for the whole year Kyle Kuzma to 249, Majestic. 
because they're so good. They really are. Even if you don't like jelly beans, I bet you'd like them because I don't really like jelly beans. I love them. To $1.99, Clippers to Dosic. Tony Bradley, Majestic for Jazz, the Jazz. Panini Basketball, Hornets, Dwayne Bacon. So I always kind of have to, you know, think about the day after, oh goodness, the day after Easter. And <laughs> this is, this is, this is, sorry, little kitty just was taking a stroll there. I don't know how, <laughs> thank goodness he did not decide to jump on the laptop and he did not decide to jump down on the table but he did just take a little stroll across the back there to 299 miles turner for the pacers dj wilson for the bucks to 199 he does not normally do that so that was new artist proof for the nets to 99 jarrett allen De'Aaron Fox for the Kings to $2.99. Maybe he wants to be an internet star. I don't know. The kitten, I mean. Jarrett Allen for the Nets. Pinnacle. For the Celtics. Will Jason Tatum momentum. But he is, he's just crazy though, that cat. I don't know. I don't know if I'll survive until he gets to be two years old, but <laughs> I guess we have a choice. To two ninety nine, Chris Middleton Bucks, Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry. What? Steph Curry to twenty five for the Warriors. Now that's a nice little hit, unexpected uh, little bonus there, huh? <laughs> That's a that's a very nice hit in here with a little Steph Curry auto. Malik Monk Hornets one hundred and ninety nine momentum. Brilliance Justin Jackson for the Kings. That one is to one hundred and forty nine. John Collins and the Hawks momentum. Brandon Ingram. 149. Yeah, see, y'all didn't think about Steph Curry and some of the veterans popping up in here, huh? Yeah, yeah. So that that just made it worth uh, the investment for the Golden State Warriors for sure. Sometimes they surprise you and throw in uh, some unexpected stuff. We were opening some Reds basketball not too long ago, and it was maybe 13, 14 threads. I think it was 13, 14 threads. And we pulled, um, uh, oh my God. That's Kobe Bryant. I'm just like, just for a second, I blanked on his name. We pulled a Kobe Bryant auto out of 13, 14 threads and a low numbered one too. To $2.99, Draymond Green. John Collins for the Hawks to $149. So sometimes they turn up the big hits in unexpected places or the big names. DJ Wilson, 249 bucks. That is uh, majestic. To 149 is the Josh Jackson for the Suns. Kyle Kuzma, majestic. That's going to be, next up is going to be Malik Monk, Panini Basketball. Just had to give a, I had to get another little pack of sleeves laying out on the table there. I really want to find that Gala card. I am, I'm, it better be in that last pack. That's to 99, LeBron James and the Cavs. Like, I'm obsessed with finding that Gala card. <laughs> Justin Jackson and the Kings to 199. 
which I know doesn't make sense because I wouldn't be keeping it myself, but I just get that way sometimes. I just want to find it. Artist proof to $1.99 for the T-Wolves, Justin Patton. That is to 249 Brilliance, Tyler Lydon. It's like I want to find an Anthony Davis uh, 1213 rookie signature. So I'm always uh, buying stuff that for myself as well, looking for that. Phoenix Suns, Josh Jackson, that's on the pinnacle insert. Bam Adebayo, Momentum, Miami Heat. I've bought a ton of 1213 stuff, all different kinds of products for myself. Trying to trying to pull that Anthony Davis. I never have gotten it. Not in my own stuff anyway. For the heat, 299. Kevin Love for the Cavs to 99 relic. Luke Kennard, Momentum, 249, Pistons. Wayne Selden, Jr., 299, Grizzlies. Justin Jackson, Ma Momentum, or was that Majestic? Majestic, sorry, for the Kings. Dennis Schroeder, to 149. And now we'll flip over our redemption and see what kind of good luck we have here <laughs> oh speaking of unexpected hits and speaking of pulling kobe bryant out of places you don't expect there he is how about that <laughs> lakers with the kobe bryant let's go to the checklist and uh we'll find out what this is going to be numbered to i've got to get myself there and you there at the same time preferably so Steph Curry and Kobe Bryant both coming out of there. I got to say, I think that's pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with that myself. And we got to go through all these drop-down menus before we're eventually going to get there. I've already forgotten what I said the card set was now. Chronicles Autographs Card 27. Card number 27, it's going to be numbered to 99 on the Kobe Bryant, which I got to tell you, I still think even numbered to 99 is a very nice hit. I really do. I, I think it is. So we're going to recap our hits out of this break. And give me a hot second. We'll get that set up. So we're also going to look at uh, some of our shorter print inserts, and then we'll look at the other hits. So we found two gold standard in here, the Laurie Markkinen to 49. And of course, you know, gold standard can be to different numbers, but both of the ones we found tonight were to 49, which is nice. And then the DJ Wilson for the Bucks. We found one die cut momentum that is numbered to 10. I don't really know if we found any other die-cut momentums in any of our other cases that I remember. We found one titanium that is numbered to 45. It was Dylan Brooks and the Grizzlies. We still did not find a gala insert. Six cases now and still no gala insert, but hope springs eternal. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll buy some more at some point. We'll try again. I don't know. In the meanwhile, here are our autograph and relic hits. And of course, we had loads and loads of uh, inserts of various numbers. Nice little Steph Curry to 25 is just an awesome little hit for the Warriors. And right behind it, there we have the nice Kobe Bryant for the Lakers to 99. So both of those are uh, pretty cool. And then of course, we found you lots of sons, right? Nathaniel, we might not have found exactly what you wanted, but we found you lots of sons. Lakers did really well. They pulled Lonzo, and they pulled Kyle Kuzma, and they pulled the Kobe Bryant. So Lakers kind of, like, cleaned up. 
Louie, I am glad that you had fun. I am I am glad that you enjoyed it. And uh, you stuck around and saw our other stuff too, right? You watched, uh, you, were, you were a trooper. You sat through uh, football and baseball as well. So I'm glad to have you for the for the evening. Jarrett Allen. I think that's a nice little hit for the Nets. So all in all, we we had a nice case here, in my opinion. Of course, aided uh, considerably by pulling both Steph Curry and Kobe Bryant. It's quite nice. Then the Fultz. I mean, overall, we did well. I would. I want the gala, though. I'm not going to lie. I want the gala. They're numbered to eight, if we can ever find one. But, of course, there are several different players that are possible pulls numbered to eight. So, if you take the number of players times eight, that tells you how many gala cards there are in total. And, I mean, it was a decent number. I would have really thought out of six cases by now, I would have found one. But I haven't. But we did find some other cool stuff, so I guess it's all good. I'm just on a mission, that's all. I'm on, I'm on a mission for that gala card. And that is all for tonight. I will uh, put up the spreadsheet information again real quickly for those who might have missed it earlier or who perhaps you're watching the recorded version and you're interested in knowing your shipping date and that sort of thing. Let me get... Uh, let me get us navigated back over here, and we'll do a quick little look at that once again. Uh, so anticipating Monday for Chronicles, uh, plus or minus a day is always the case. I doubt very seriously it would go out tomorrow because it's short hours with the post office anyway. Uh, possible it could slide to Tuesday, but I don't really think it will. I think it'll be Monday. And then once again, a quick look at what we have coming up in the days ahead. Lots more of everything, basketball, baseball, football, you name it. Uh, Sunday is when we're doing Don Russ basketball again. I can't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday. It's Sunday. And then, of course, uh, Tuesday, we'll get into some Revolution basketball. And Wednesday is when Optic comes out. So, yeah, we'll be rolling with that on Wednesday. So that's it for me. I've got lots of things to put in sleeves and top loaders and sorting to get done. So I'm going to jump off here and get busy. You have a great rest of your weekend. Happy Easter to everybody. Hope the Easter Bunny brings you something good. <laughs> we'll see you the next time. Bye now.